Hi, welcome back to my channel. This week I have decided to do an interesting video on my beauty subscriptions. I do Ipsy and Allure and I thought why not compare the two. I had to do this in weeks because a lot of the things that came in the bag or the box were skincare products and you can't really test skincare products in 30 minutes like it takes longer than makeup so most of them i did as sort of an overnight testing or throughout the day testing this week i tested out the allure beauty box if you don't know allure's beauty box is 15 dollars, and this month it came with seven products for me ipsy's glam bag is 12 dollars. i usually get a couple of add-ons so this month i got two three dollar add-ons so my total for the ipsy glam bag was 18 dollars but we'll see how it compares to ipsy's march glam bag next week so let's get right into the video and start testing these products so i'm going to start my i guess allure beauty box testing the first product that i'm actually going to be testing out it's the Pearlice, Pearlice Watermelon Energizing Sheet Mask. It's supposed to be moisturizing and soothing and for all skin types. So my skin type is oily, but I also have some dry spots like around my mouth and things like that. I'm supposed to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So let's see. So here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for like 15 minutes and I'll take it off after that. Oh, you look silly. You think I look silly? I don't think I look silly. Okay, so timer just ended. I'm about to take this off. I will say that this mask didn't make my face tingle like some masks do, which is great because when it tingles, I feel like that's not a good sign. So, I'm glad there's no redness or anything. One of the tips was to take the extra serum out of the bag and just kind of rub that into my face. So I'm gonna do that right now. So right now, I feel like it gave me a lot of moisture. Um, my skin does feel a little softer. I don't know what this line is, but it feels really good so far. As of right now, I have to give it like an 8 out of 10 because it's great. It's, it's not the best mask in the world, but it's pretty great. But we'll see after like, you know, a couple of hours go by. See, make sure that I don't get any crazy reactions to it. Anyway. So it's been about 8-9 hours since I did my mask. And I would say that i'm really happy with how it did on my skin so tonight i'm gonna be testing one more product i'm trying not to overdo it on the products per day just so that my skin doesn't go crazy so the last product that i'm going to be testing today is the serum the balance hydrating and calming serum but it's called lou by john Sio. i think that's how you say it i never know how to pronounce any of these things so please don't help me so i'm gonna take a shower wash my face and then apply this with my regular skin routine instead of my other well i don't have a serum i don't so i'm gonna see how it affects my skin overnight and give an update in the morning pretty much it was a bit stickier and less oily than i'd expect a serum to be but maybe it'll turn out great so we'll see good morning please excuse my morning hair so far the serum i think it worked great other than the weird stickiness and gluey feeling that I had when I applied it because it did feel like I was falling asleep with a layer of glue on my face I did wake up with no like crazy oil like I usually do and it made my skin feel softer so I feel like it did everything a serum is really supposed to do I think I would give this product an 8 out of 10 too just because of that weird glue sticky feeling that you have when you first put it on other than that worked great so the product that i'm going to be trying out today is this sika pear and dr jart tiger grass color correcting treatment the person who recommended this says that it can work as a tinted moisturizer color corrector and sunscreen all rolled into one she says that what she does is typically use this as a sort of foundation and just wear the treatment and just swipe with mascara 
So I'm gonna try that out, just do my eyebrows, my mascara, and wear this as kind of like my base and not do anything else with it and see how it wears throughout the day. Okay, so before I put my mascara on, I'm going to put on the treatment. This is what it looks like on the inside. I think this did kind of lighten me up a little bit. I don't know about coverage, but for some reason it does feel like I have a little bit of coverage. So far, so good. By the way, the mascara I'm gonna be using today is the Lashcraft Big Volume by Sephora. Okay, so that is all for my makeup today. I'm loving this treatment so far. It's definitely given me kind of a more even, natural, Base. I love the fact that there's SPF in it, but it doesn't have like that sunscreen smell. So we'll see how it goes on throughout the day. The other product that I'm going to be testing today is this. It's a perfume. It's called Flower Bomb by Victor and Wolf. So this is what it looks like. It's in a little tiny bottle. It has one of those tops, not the spritzer, but this thing. Okay. First reaction, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not crazy about the smell. Oh, in the little manual thing, it also talks about the perfume. Jessica Chia, the contributing editor, claims to have used this, and she says that she wears the scent straight to drink, like days out and stuff like that, and it usually smells like a calmed down version of the initial spritz. So I'm really hoping that's what it's going to smell like throughout the day because, I mean, it's not horrible. When I think of grammar perfumes, I think of super floral perfumes, but it's already starting to smell a little different. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it's currently like 6 p.m. So I've been wearing this mask or treatment, whatever, for about six, seven hours. I think that this is my favorite product so far. It's just great. It's a cream but it doesn't give me that super oiliness that I just hate from most creams. Looking back at my footage too, I feel like you can see a brightness in my skin that wasn't there before. I don't know if that is because of the SPF, but I just love it. I love it. 10 out of 10. In terms of the perfume, I can smell it still. It's definitely strong. It doesn't have an issue with, with fading away. I still don't I'm not the biggest fan of the smell and that's it. The mask is probably going to have to be a 10 out of 10. The treatment, I loved it. I think it's just such a great product and it does exactly what it's telling you it's going to do. And the perfume, personally, for my own taste, I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 10 for smell, but definitely like an 8 or 9 out of 10 for like how long it stays on you and how long you can smell it. So it's great for that. If you like the scent, then it's a great perfume. The product that I'm going to be testing tonight is the Akara Skin Balance Toner. I'm glad that they gave me another toner because I just ran out of a toner from last month's box from them. So I'm hoping that I love this one just as much. That felt so great. So far, love it. I'm going to see how my skin looks tomorrow after this, if it has any like visual effects on it, but we'll see. Good morning. So I really liked the toner from last night. It was super great. It had my skin feeling really soft and I couldn't stop touching it, which I know is bad for your skin, but it just felt really soft. I think I would give the balanced toner a 9 out of 10. It was just super great. I honestly think I'll be fine replacing my last toner with this one. It just gave me a super soft feeling and it didn't feel sticky or anything like that. So I am on my last day of testing products. I'm super excited. I need to wash my hair today. I'm obviously needing a wash. One of the last products is a hair product. After I wash my hair, I'm going to be using the Ava NYC Detangling Frizz Fighting Heat Protecting Main Magic Multi Benefit 10 in 1 Primer. I'm super excited to use it. I've let my mom use it and she had good things to say about it. So we'll see how it affects my hair. Okay, so my hair has been washed. I'm just going to detangle it, put my regular products in, and put this primer in. I usually don't apply heat to my hair and I'm not going to today. But just to add, this is also a primer for when you do use heat. did kind 
of help with the detangling. Okay, but it does feel very oily. I hope that it doesn't weigh my hair down because my experiences with oils aren't really great. So it's currently 12.32 p.m. I'll give you an update when my hair dries. So far, it's not looking too great. It's been like maybe 30 minutes. For a spray that's supposed to calm down my frizz, I don't really think it's doing that personally. It's just a lot frizzier than I'm used to. So it's 1.33, it's been about an hour and my hair is mostly dry. I'm kind of disappointed in this spray. I really wanted to like it, my mom loved it. The difference between the way me and my mom used it though is that she straightened her hair and I keep my hair natural. I don't know, maybe it's just not meant for natural hair, but I just really, I think the problem is that it came out a lot frizzier than my hair normally would when it was supposed to calm down my frizz. One good thing I will say about this spray though is that even though it has a bunch of oils in it, it doesn't feel oily on my hair. It doesn't feel oily or greasy in my hair and it doesn't weigh it down. For the purpose of my natural hair, I think I'm gonna have to give this product a four, five out of 10. I love the fact that it helped me detangle my hair. I love the fact that it's putting oils into my hair without making it look greasy, but I do not like the fact that it made my hair frizzier than it normally is. The last product that I'm going to be testing out from my Allure Beauty Box is this Thrive Cosmetics Lip Filler Lip Liner. It claims to have semi-permanent micropigment technology. I'm personally not a big fan of reds or berries. I do have a couple of red and berry light colors after I put the lip liner on just to see which one might work with it. So this is the lip liner. It's really cool. It has one of those twisty things. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this now and tell you how it works. Okay, so I just did a nice little close up around my lip area so you can see how I apply it. So I'm actually not hating the color right now. It does actually seem like more of a berry color. I actually think it looks kind of nice. Now I'm just gonna find out which of my lipsticks or lip glosses matches the lip liner the best. So these are the four that I brought with me. I think it's gonna actually have to be this top one up here. I think that matches the best with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. By the way, the shade that I'm going to be putting on is from Maybelline and it's the Superstay 24 color. It's in the shade 195 Raspberry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on right now. Wow, that just blended in so seamlessly like it looks like it came in a set together so i'm obviously judging on my initial reaction and i think that the lip liner was super good it blended super well with the lipstick that i already have so that's like bonus points it was just a great formula i actually love it i think it's a 10 out of 10 i just think it's super cute like i said i don't really like reds and berries on me so the fact that this kind of changed my mind, it feels great. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first part of Allure vs. Ipsy. I'm going to be trying out what came in my Ipsy glam bag in next week's video. And I'll be comparing the two and deciding which one I think won for the month. So stay tuned. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.